with Palm Gainesville Chevrolet Cadillac Mazda. When Sonny set out to create something new, he put two classics in one basket. Now, from North Central Florida's news leader, TV 20 News at 6. Good evening. A man is dead tonight after an early morning shooting in southwest Alachua County. The man, a 22-year-old from Gainesville, was leaving a friend's house when he was shot. TV 20's Robert Bradfield explains police have few leads and neighbors want answers. No one deserves to be here one day and then the next day had a life took it over. Adrian Kelsey is talking about 22-year-old Frank Dean Jr., who was shot and killed early Friday morning at the crossroads of the Cornerstone and Holly Heights neighborhoods. Dean had prior brushes with the law, including one drug charge. We haven't established a motive. Uh, we've had detectives in both neighborhoods since this happened canvassing the neighborhoods for any type of information. According to detectives and witnesses, shots were fired around 2.20 a.m. Dean's body was found in this pile of dirt. Forgy says Dean was unarmed and cannot confirm how many shots hit Dean, but it does appear more than one person may be to blame. We have more than one caliber of shell casings at the scene, which leads us to believe there's multiple weapons involved. Several homes were hit by gunfire, including Kelsey's. Her children were sleeping on the other side of the wall, the glass visibly broken. It do have me kind of on the edge right now. It's because... Wondering, is they going to come back? Is they going to try to retaliate on my home? Is they going to try to retaliate on me and my children? Is the question. Now it's because if you shot there once, will you shoot again? It is unclear if Dean lived in the neighborhood. Kelsey says he was leaving her house when she went inside and heard several shots. When she went outside, the shooters were gone and Dean was dead. Whoever did this, I hope you, you see this and... You know what I'm saying? He had a life. Turn yourself in, because he had a life. This boy had a life. He just left behind a child. From what we know, he left behind a son. Forgy says anyone with information that leads to an arrest and the confiscation of a gun can receive a $1,000 reward. You can call Crime Stoppers at 372-STOP. Robert Bradfield, TV20 News. A man is